Everyone always wants to point out all the bad stuff that Injustice 2 Mobile has. And I think that's warranted because there are a lot of bad stuff. But there's also a lot of cool things that come with the game. So today we're going to be talking about top five awesome features in Injustice 2 Mobile. Number five, the mechanics. I know a lot of people have problems with the mechanics. Believe me, I do too. However, the mechanics themselves are actually a good idea. The only problem is that the developers don't want to take time to give us one update that could fix all the problems that we have, right? Everybody has ha has a story about having a problem with their character malfunctioning or something where it just did not want to block or it did not want to hit or whatever. For me, this happens a lot with Batman Ninja Robin, and it's crazy, all right? It is not, I know that it is not my fault because I know how to use Batman Ninja Robin, but for some odd reason, after a combo or after a special, sometimes Batman Ninja Robin just wants to stand there. Like, he doesn't do anything. I saw somebody do a Batman Ninja Robin um, gameplay, and they commented the same thing. They were like, do you guys ever get that, that feeling that Batman Ninja Robin just kind of freezes after you do a special? And I commented back, like, yeah, dude, I get the same problem. And, and there was a lot of people that were saying that they got the same problem. And I think that's something that they should really fix because that's a, that's a critical. If you do not block, you are screwed, okay? So how are you going to give us a character that doesn't let us block after a special? That doesn't make any sense. But if they just took the time to fix this, the mechanics are actually a great idea. I have never seen mechanics like these until Injustice 2 Mobile came out, and I love them. They're more fast-paced than Injustice 1, which is what I was asking for. It's a little bit more strategical, even though it's unfair that the AI can, you know, under-hit you and, and break your block. I still think it's a pretty cool mechanic um, in the game. Maybe if they took that out, it would be a little bit more balanced. I'm not too sure. But with the way that it is, I'm actually enjoying this. If they could find a way to make certain hits kind of, how would I say this, like kind of collab, where, you know, you could jump up, you could jump down, um, you could do the underswipe, and you can hit right. Like if they manage to smooth that animation out and make those moves go a little bit by, go by a little bit quicker, and, you know, make it feel like an actual fighting game, I think that would be super cool. And this game is taking the correct step in that direction, but we just need that one update, that one update, that one godly update that would fix everything, okay? And I understand that a lot of people are going to hate what I'm saying right now because you guys are like, oh, you know, that's not fair, the mechanics are unfair, whatever. I agree, okay? I agree that they're unfair. I'm just saying that the gameplay in itself the mechanics in itself is actually a good idea. We just need the developers to, to, to kind of polish it out just a little bit, just a little bit. And I think it would be awesome. Number four, artifacts. I was not a huge fan of this when it first came out. However, over the last couple of weeks, it's really been growing on me. The fact that I could take any artifact and add it to any character and give them certain buffs, I think that's pretty cool. And the little extra buff that you get for adding them to the same type of character, the same class character, and it gives you an extra buff, I think that's a pretty cool idea too. I really love the, the Might one that gives you more basic attack hits. I love adding that to King Aquaman, and I love adding that to Cyborg. I have a lot of fun with that. I never thought that they would add something like this that could give you even more basic attack hits. But because of the artifacts, we can do stuff like this now. We can add extra buffs that we never thought we could add on these characters. I think that's pretty cool. And with the T7 and T8 bosses that are out now, you know, we need these. You know, they're super OP. They have 100 million plus health, right? These artifacts are really going to help us out. I also really like the, um, what's it, the Arcane one? I think it's called Arcane. Hold on. Yeah, the Arcane one. I love adding that to Silver Banshee to fight Dr. Fate. I think that's pretty cool. It makes it a lot easier. I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry too much about the old gear system. Because with the old gear system, we also have to worry about not just leveling them up, but also refactoring them with the reforge, with the refactoring the gear talents with the reforge tokens. Um, but with these, with the the artifacts, as long as you level them up, you know you're good, you're set to go. You don't have to worry about anything else. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of them adding another currency to the game because we already have a lot of them. But I think in this instance, it really paid off, and I think this was a really good idea. Number three, shard sharing. This is such a simple feature, but I love it because I have a lot of people in personally in my league. I have a lot of people that are brand new to the game and the fact that I can give them shards that I don't need anymore. That is pretty cool. I wish they would bump it up to maybe 20 shards or 30 or 40 or 50 shards. That would be cool. I don't think any more than 50 they would ever do. So let's say 50. I wish they would bump it up to 50 shards. That way we could speed up the process a little bit. 
But the fact that I can give out shards that I don't need anymore to people who do need them, for people who are new at the game, who want to enjoy the game, I think that's pretty cool. A lot of us wanted to see that when the game first came out, but it also wouldn't have been as smart as it was when raids came out, just because when the game first came out, all of us didn't have a ton of shards to be given out. Most of us, like 99% of us, didn't have extra shards. But now when they added raids, obviously now you can get the shards. And now that we have a ton of shards, we can be giving them out. So I think that's a pretty cool system that they added to the shard sharing. Um, it's noob friendly. I don't like to call people noobs, but yeah, I, that's kind of what a new player is. It's noob. So it's noob friendly and it makes the game a lot more fun for newcomers. So it, it gets an A plus in my books. Number two, Champions Arena. I really love this game mode for two reasons. Number one, you get a lot of gems. At max rank, you get 1,800 gems, okay? I typically recommend that people don't go max rank because that takes a lot of work. It can take you a good amount of time. If you really just kind of want to sit there and play a couple battles, just go for the one that gives you either go to the go for the division that only gives you 1,000 or 1,200 gems. From my experience, those divisions are super easy. You rarely have to fight, and it's super easy just to stay um, in the middle without ranking up or getting demoted. So that's really where you want to be if you don't want to play a lot. But if you do want to play a lot, you get a heck of a reward when you get those 1,800 gems. The second reason why I really like this game mode is because it is everything Arena should be. In other words, you don't spend a lot of time in Champions Arena because everybody only has one pip. Every character only has one pip. In Arena, every character has five. So it takes you a lot longer when you're competing against everybody else that has five pips. Whereas instead, in Champions Arena, you only have to battle people with one pip and everybody has to battle you with one pip so it's evened out it saves you a lot a lot of time the only real reason why you should be playing arena is for the shards you get a lot of shards in that um but aside from that if you already have a ton of shards just ignore arena arena is just kind of like background play, play like three matches in arena and just go play champions arena if you really want to get gems because in champions arena that's where the gems are number one raids I think all of us saw this coming. Raids is so awesome. The fact that you can get level 60, level 50, level 40 gear is nuts, dude. If you would have told me this game mode existed and those rewards existed now, when I was first starting, when I first started playing the game, I would not believe you, okay? Back in the day when the game first came out, leveling up gear took so long, okay? It was such an accomplishment to reach level 40 gears for your character. Never mind level 50 or level 60 gear. That was like impossible. Um, it would take you way too long to do that. It would not have been worth it. But now we got level 60 gear like it's nothing. I mean, sometimes we even throw it away because we get too much of it, right? Um, and the fact that you can only play like, let's say that you're in a T5 league, right? Like mine is right now. Um, if someone just wants to put up three pips and they do a lot of damage in those three pips, technically you could you do three pips in one day. So technically speaking, if that's all you play, you're getting a level 60 gear just for playing three matches, dude. That is nuts. That is obviously you have to get lucky in getting the level 60 gear. But, you know, you get a level 40 at minimum. So if you were to tell me that with three matches you get a level 40 gear, oh, yeah, that's a sweet deal. That is a sweet, awesome deal. Even though reforging those, I'm sorry, not reforging, um, using the, the little reforge tokens, uh, even though reforging the talents can be quite annoying, at least the game makes it a little bit easier by just giving us level 40, 50, 60 gear. Because that way, at least we have all three talents unlocked for the gears. Um, so that's pretty cool. I also feel like raids in general is just a cool concept. The fact that we can go fight a boss that has millions of damage and we can see how we would work as a team and how much damage our own characters could do. I think that's just a lot of fun. I think um, the, it, when the game first came out, I really wanted them to add a game mode where it wasn't really a fighting mode. It was just like a training mode where the AI would be super nerfed and you were just worried about how much damage your characters can do so that you could then apply that to arena. But raids is a lot better because this actually gives you rewards, right? It's not training. This is an actual game mode where you fight and the AI is fighting back and then you get a ton of rewards if you win. Um, so I think that is pretty cool. So again, the concept in itself is awesome. The fact that we're working as a team is awesome. The fact that our characters are doing loads of damage that we would have never even imagined them doing i think that's pretty cool um so yeah raids comes in at number one it's a no-brainer easily easily the best game mode in the game all right guys that was the video hope you guys enjoyed that um there are a lot of people out there that play the game right now and there's a lot of people who just complain and complain and complain about the game 
And I think it is warranted to some extent because I also wonder, why are you playing the game if you don't like it, right? I like the game. I will point out all the cool stuff, even though there's a lot of bad stuff in the game, and there probably is more bad stuff than there is good stuff. I like the basic overall feel of the game, the basic concept of the game. I enjoy it, so that's why I play it. Even though sometimes I do complain about it, I do like to point out all the good stuff that's in the game, kind of like how I just did right now with the top five. Um, so, yeah, I just I just wanted to say that if you guys aren't enjoying the game, there is really no reason to play it, all right? And I feel like that's point that's the point where a lot of people are at right now, where they play it, but they just complain about it. Um, and I don't think that makes any sense. You obviously have to be liking something. You have to be liking something in order for you to keep coming back. And um, so, like I said, I just wanted to point that out. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a good video. Oh, good video. oh my God. <laughs> I'm not redoing this outro. I already did this like five times. I'm just going to leave it in there. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys later.